Hello, um, this is I'm Fungus here with a GameBridge tutorial. Um, it's a device made by Adaptech to supposedly connect your gaming system to your computer. Um, it does work for that, it does lag a little, but most people use it for recording and putting it on YouTube preferably. And um, here I'm going to show you how to set it up. Um, you can buy one of these off of Amazon.com for about a twenty for about twenty bucks. Um, I'll show you what it comes with. It comes with a cheap case that everything doesn't even fit into. Um, obviously the uh, game bridge itself. Um, these cables for AV. You plug your AV and cables into here. You plug that into the game bridge. Then from the game bridge, you plug it in via USB to your computer. Um, so I went out and bought an extra AV cable, um, set of AV cables, and some AV cable splitters. Um, you can buy these any, from probably any Radio Shack. Um, I bought splitters so that way I could um, split it so I could have it going to the computer and to my TV at the same time because like I said it does lag a little bit and I do it mostly for Guitar Hero videos and um, you don't really want it lagging while you're playing Guitar Hero so this I came up myself with the splitters so that way um, I mean this splitter idea anyway I'm assuming other people have thought of it but um, that's how I did it well um, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, pretty much set up the whole thing um, First off, um, I'll show you how to set it up to a 360. Okay, um, now that I went and got my 360 and my laptop, I can now show you how to connect it up through um, Xbox 360. It should work with any console the same way. Um, first, you get the game bridge and you plug this in. Make sure it's nice and snug because I've been told that it can come out pretty easily, which should cause the picture not to come in. Alright, if you plan on just having it into the computer you can um, directly plug in your 360 cables but I like to have it go to a, com um, to a TV so I put in splitters. Okay, so now you have, one, you have two um, inputs for red yellow and white. So um, in one set you can put 360. I'm not sure if it works in HD. I'm assuming it doesn't but you could always try. And in this set you plug in another um, set of AV cables that you should probably have. You're gonna need at least one other pair if you're going to be doing the splitter technique. So um, these cables you would plug into a TV and um, then you would get input into your TV and you'd also have your game bridge hooked up. Um, I don't have a TV in my dining room so I can't really show you TV but I will at the end of the video show you TV quality. You can always look at my Guitar Hero videos. Um, so from here you take your USB, you plug it in, and then you plug it into your computer. Um, if you're first time setting it up, you put in the disc that comes with it, and um, from there you just go through the whole set of instructions. This is for XP users. This is uh, made for XP and wasn't intended to be used for Vista but some smart guy uh, figured out how to get it to work with Vista um, so um, in the details box or something or in the video I'll um, put up instructions on how to do so um, I'm not sure exactly what I did but I did something so it worked um, so um, when you first install it whichever USB port you put it in you always have to use that same USB port for some reason it doesn't work with the other ones so I guess you could probably install it for the other ones but I just use the same one each time it makes it easy 
Okay, we got that plugged in. Um, the software Inter Video Home Theater, um, which came with it. You should open up. Alright, when your Game Bridge is connected, it should show up right here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so pretty much just open up into video home theater. Alright, like I said, Gamebridge should show up. And there's also videos, I guess this works with other things, but I just use Gamebridge. Alright, it may take a little bit. Not really a lot, see, just a couple of seconds. Alright, it's just all scratchy right now because um, Xbox isn't turned on. So, if I turn it on... It should work. And there's the little 360. Um, you can click on this little outer edge, make it full screen. Um, there's your three. You gotta turn on the controller. <laughs> there you go. Um, so this is computer, and if you plug in your AV cables to the TV, you can also have it on the TV. Um, just move your mouse around. Options will come up, and you can just click record when you want um, it's in very good quality but the um, bad thing is it records it in a very big file which means you're going to have to um, whatever make it smaller I can't even remember the word but, um, so that's the 360 showing you that it's on and now I will show you um, how to get software to make the file smaller and how to put it on YouTube. Alright, um, if you want to use this for Vista, just uh, go to this link. I'll end up putting it in the information box. Um, anywhere on this, on this article will tell you exactly what to do to get it to work with Vista. Um, so, just this link. <laughs> Edit.